Your muscles have organs that provide a protective function. These are wired in as simple reflex arcs, which means they can affect muscular contraction without the brain sending a signal. There are two main types we'll talk about. The first being muscle spindles, and the second being the Golgi tendon organ. Muscle spindles are sensory receptors in the muscle that measure the rate of lengthening of a muscle. So that if a muscle is in danger of being overstretched, the muscle spindle will activate, thus sending a message via the spinal cord to create a motor impulse which will switch on the muscle that is being overstretched. This is known as a simple reflex arc, which acts faster than if the brain had to receive the information and then make a decision. The Golgi tendon organ is a sensory receptor located near the tendon of the muscle. Its role is to measure the tension being placed on the muscle. If a large amount of tension is placed on the muscle for a long period of time, the Golgi tendon organ will activate by exciting the sensory neuron and the muscle will become inhibited via a simple reflex arc from the spinal cord. So in short, muscle spindles make muscles contract against a sudden stretching force and Golgi tendon organs inhibit contraction during extended periods of tension. Knowing how these two sensory organs work can assist us with two training principles. The muscle spindle can be of assistance during plyometric activities, and the Golgi tendon organ can be of assistance during stretching activities. There is a stretching technique that aims to trick the nervous system into allowing the muscle to lengthen. It's known as proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, or PNF for short. PNF stretching involves holding a stretch, then contracting the muscle for about six seconds, after which you relax and take the stretch a little further before contracting again. This type of stretching is aimed at deactivating the muscle spindles, which prevents the stretch reflex, and activating the Golgi tendon organ, which promotes muscular inhibition.